in today's last minute cheat sheet for the PDE exam. Let's go through Google Cloud's Enterprise Data Warehouse Service, BigQuery. I will focus on four areas in this cheat sheet. Data Warehouse for Data Storage and OLAP, BigQuery ML lets you to train and evaluate machine learning models directly in BigQuery. BigQuery BI Engine seamlessly integrates with the familiar tools like Data Studio and will help accelerate data exploration and analysis for Looker, Sheets, and the other BI tools. BigQuery has the built-in GIS functionality to support geospatial analysis. You should get familiar with the key features before the exam. The key features are such as a form manager with auto-scaling from gigabytes to petabytes, serverless and no ops including ad hoc queries, BigQuery data transfer service, big data ecosystem integration, foundation for BI and AI, a programmatic interaction, data governance and security, if the exam question contains data warehouse, you should select BigQuery as the solution. This video will focus on last minute cheat sheets, so I won't spend time explaining BigQuery's architecture, but you can review this article to understand what BigQuery hides under the hood. Now let's take a look at this sample data analytics architecture. This architecture is good enough to answer some pipeline questions in both PCA and PDE certification exams. The architecture has three patterns. The top one is real-time processing. The bottom one is batch processing, then provides data results from both processing to the BI tools for further exploring and visualization. The real-time processing users PubSub to ingest the data, Dataflow to transform the data, and the BigQuery to store and analyze the data. The batch processing uses cloud storage to store batch files, then Dataflow or Dataprobe to transform the data as needed, then using the BigQuery to analyze the data. I will compare the difference between data flow and the data prep on data transformation in the last minute cheat sheet of data flow. Next one is BigQuery's structure. BigQuery has data sets and jobs that are contained with a specific project. Data sets are top level containers that are used to organize and control access to your tables and views. Data states can be regional or multi-regional. Jobs are long-running actions that BigQuery runs on your behalf to know the data, export data, query data, or copy data. Let's take a look at the tables and views in the datasets. A table is a collection of columns with a columnar storage. Tables can be external, for example, on the cloud storage. BigQuery has a collector to the cloud storage. For table schema, BigQuery provides a denominalization to increase query speed, but it requires more storage and increase the amount of data processed. Denormalized with lasted and repeat columns can improve the efficiency of BigQuery with the relational source data. Schema auto detection is available when you load the data into BigQuery and when you query an external data source. Pay attention to unsupported schema modifications that you need to understand how to manually change table schemas. BigQuery provides a partitioning and a clustering for you to organize data through managed tables. Partitioning will filter storage before query execution begins to reduce costs. Reduce a full table scan to partitions specified. 
You can use any column with the date or timestamp or ingesting time or integer range for partitioning. Clustering is a storage optimization within columnar segments to improve filtering and record co-location. You can prioritize the clustering of up to four columns except listed columns. When should you use the clustering? You can use the clustering when your data is already partitioned on a date or timestamp or integer range column or you commonly use filters or aggregation against particular columns in your queries. Views are virtual tables defined by SQL query. I only point out the authorized view for the exam. The authorized view allows you to share data excellently without sharing the underlying tables. Materialize the view is a pre-PA at the time of recording this video. It is a pre-computed views that periodically catch results of a query for increased performance and efficiency. This is just a quick way to go through BigQuery structure. You should deep dive into the sections I highlight here from BigQuery documentation and get, uh, get some uh, hands-on experience to understand BigQuery structure before the PDE certification exam. I will go through more BigQuery last minute cheat sheets in the next two videos. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.